Hello and welcome back. In this video we will add the functionality that when the quantity is changed by the user or when the remove button is clicked, the cart information is adjusted accordingly. The final page will look and function like this. We will start with the shopping cart page open in Wapla, making sure that App Connect mode is turned off. Select the Remove button. Under Dynamic Events, choose Mouse Click. Choose Remove Item At from the cart array. The value is the index of the table body repeat region. Repeat this removal process for the other two arrays, namely subtotal array and product ID array. Next we will tackle the quantity. Select the quantity text input. When the quantity is changed, we need to update the value in the cart array and in the subtotal array. Under dynamic events, choose keyboard key up. For the action, we need to replace the value in each of our two arrays. Choose replace item at from the cart array. The index is the index for the table body repeat re region. The value will need to be for the three objects of our cart. The product and price will remain the same, while the quantity will come from the text input value. This needs to be an array. Change the field to an expression. Enter an open curly brace followed by the key named product and finish off with a colon. For the product value, choose product in the repeat region. Enter a comma, space and price. For the price value, choose price in the repeat region. Enter a comma, space and our last key named quantity. For the quantity value, choose the value of the text input. Close the array with a curly brace. We'll repeat the same for the subtotal array, where we will multiply the price by the new quantity. For our next video, we will create the checkout. Thank you for watching.